Most designers nowadays are still sending proposals via PDF. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your Webflow CMS to impress your clients and close more leads. Let's get into it. This is my website. And if we take a look here, this is something that I would send out to a client. It's something of a proposal. So we've got an introduction here. We've got, hey, company name. My name is Arna Ross, little bio, little video, how I can help the client, the agency, and a little bit more info there. But why does this matter? Why did I do this? With PDFs, it's hard to convey everything that you want to convey. And it's an extra pain for clients to have to open up a PDF. It's hard to keep track of. But if you have a website, it's easier for clients to get to know you, to see the work that you've done and to be able to contact you via the contact form that you have already in your website. So it's a lot better than having a simple PDF. So what I have here is a simple CMS page called Hire Me's. And then I've got projects and blog posts, but blog posts, we don't need to take a look at here. So I've got Hire Me and projects. And then projects, I created some fake projects with some images, some bios, a few links, things like that. And then in Hire Me, we've got different companies that maybe you wanna get hired for. For example, Twitter, Apple, Meta, these kind of people. And in there is also some fake content, but we do have a project reference and we'll get into that later on in the video. But the cool thing that I wanna showcase here is gonna be when we send this link out to people that might be hiring us, to people that might be taking a look at our portfolio, at our projects, we see that the link automatically is our URL, hire me dash Twitter. Now, the cool thing about that is that once you are in that mind space of hiring someone and you see that someone created a website specifically for you, you're much more likely to impress them. You're much more likely to connect with them on that level of, wow, this guy's a professional, this guy knows what he's doing instead of just sending one in a billion proposals as a PDF. Now, what I've done here is quite simple. So this is the CMS page for Hire Me. And if we click on the individual layers here, we'll see that there's a simple H1 here. So this is going to stand as is for all the different projects here. And we'll see that I changed the name of the company here for all the different examples. So we've got a simple H1. We've got the name of the company that we're trying to get hired for. So we've got Amazon. We could have any other company, but this is stemming from directly the CMS of this project. And then we've got my name is Arnau. And then then this would be a short introduction into yourself, maybe into why it even matters. Why should they even take a look at you at your projects, your portfolio? And then on the bottom here, I decided to add a video. Now, video is a great way to convey who you are, your message, your impact or value, instead of just having a simple PDF or simple words for people to read, because this is entertaining. People can see the value that you put into a video, the quality of work from a video. So I decided to put in one of my recent videos here. Now, this could also be part of the CMS collection, but I decided not to. It's just a very simple link here. We've got the link and the title. So that's pretty simple. Then we've got how I can help. Now, this is where you explain your value. And this is something very similar that you would do in your PDF. If you have Bonsai or any other sort of system like that, you can add in the value that you're going to be proposing to Twitter or Facebook or whoever it is that you are applying to. And then on the bottom here is where it gets kind of cool. So the names here, so agency, this paragraph and this link, funny enough, does not match the, the project name there, but this is all stemming from a multi-reference field. So as you recall earlier, we took a look at the projects and in these projects, we have the client name, which are all agency for the simplicity of the video and then a simple link. So it can be Wikipedia, it can be Craigslist, it can be whatever Webflow decided to, to input, but all of these have their own individual links. And so we are taking the information from the projects and we're putting it directly into this proposal application for the different companies that we're applying to. So the cool thing is if you go into the individual collection item here for Hire Me's, we'll see that we can change this to be any other project reference that we want to talk about. So in this case, instead of the EST, we want to talk about Expedita. We'll save that right there and we'll see that the information will change regardless of of what we put there. So this is really impressive to hiring managers because it shows that you're willing to put in the extra effort to create an entire new website page for them instead of just sending a PDF. And what we can do in this case is obviously take this design, take this idea to a whole new level, right? This is just a very simple explanation of what you can do with the CMS collection, with Webflow, with these reference fields. And the beauty of this is, is that you can scale this to a ton of different companies. Now, one thing to note here about the slug of the different projects here. So for example, we've got higher me dash Twitter, someone could easily type in hire me dash Amazon and see if you did the exact same thing for them. So maybe you do want to change the slug up. But the cool thing is that you can scale this to however many people, however many clients you want it to be. And that is way easier than sending out lots of different PDFs, lots of different information in different PDFs. You're just referencing the different fields, the different case studies that you've already worked on. And at the bottom here, we've got a button to showcase the project reference. So we're going directly
directly to the project that we created. And then on the bottom here, we've got your CTA. So this is obviously the most critical part. It's saying, okay, if you wanna work with me, how do you wanna do so? What's your budget? Where do you wanna start? That kind of thing. And this is just a symbol that I've got here. And if we wanted to add even more, go ahead and add a testimonial or something along the lines of that. So we could do something like this, move it up. So you can see that within our wrapper, we've got our introduction, who we are. This is stemming from the CMS. So this is gonna change every single time that you add a new project. This is the statics, but you can make it a CMS as well. The client, the name of the client, the challenge. So where you came in, why it matters that you're doing this, the link of the project that you worked on, some images to showcase your skills, to showcase the project that you, that you actually collaborated on. Maybe a little conclusion, the full case study, a introduction to yourself, contact, things like that, testimonial, and then the footer. So the footer is also cool because it can link out to your entire page. People can see what you're doing, who you are as a designer, all of that jazz, contact about downloads, everything is included in your website. And it also is included in more analog ways like your PDFs and things like that. But this is a bit more professional. This is how the big boys do it. This is how the professionals are actually applying to jobs instead of a simple PDF. Now, how can we take what I've done here, this very simple design and take it to the next level? If I had to redesign this, if I had to change this up to be more complete, there's a few things that I would change. Number one is I would take the information that I've done here and go a lot more into depth into my involvement in the project, why it matters, the value that I put in. So be very specific into your actions and how that was seen in the real project. I would turn these into light boxes, but that's very easy to do and you can connect those. And then maybe if we worked on a Figma file or a sketch file, anything like that, I would embed it into the project and we can also do that with the CMS. So all the different case studies can have their own embeds so that the project could actually be interactable. People could play around with it. They could see what work I've actually done, which is also very important when you're talking about designers. So people want to see how you're building, what the layers look like, things like that. So guys, if you guys enjoy this video, if you learn anything from this, if you think you're going to start applying to jobs using this method, then do let me know down below because I think that's super, super cool. So guys, if you enjoyed it, if you guys liked anything from this video, do let me know down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.